Hello, Albuquerque Auction Addiction Community. Lloyd coming to you with another uh, quarantine <laughs> timeline video here. Uh, and uh, it's April 6th. Uh, we're, well, gosh, we're about a month into this horrible thing that we got going on here. And I was going to do a video about business sustainability and franchising and, you know, just I, again, you know, we, we talk about franchising periodically. We'd love somebody to some few folks to take the ball and run with it somewhere else in their local community and help their local community make some real money working from home. And so far, nobody's really gravitated toward what we do, and that's fine. But um, I'm going to hold off on that video. I'll do that video next. Uh, I, we, this weekend, um, we were out hiking. Uh, there's a mountain right here beside, well, there's mountains all around our house. And we climbed the one over here and we thought, well, I want it to look too tall. Well, it turned out to be quite a big mountain. <laughs> took us most of the day. Got a little sun, as you can see. Uh, it was beautiful. Temperatures were awesome. Kids did great, made it to the top. Everybody had a great time. The views were amazing. Um, so yeah, we had a wonderful time and, and it got me thinking, you know, we're all feeling a lot of negativity right now with what's going on, whether it's you're out of work or someone you know is out of work, um, or whether it's, uh, you know, just worrying about whether you're going to get sick or a loved one is going to get sick or you just, uh, there's, there's people dying guys. It's, it's, uh. Most of them are underlying issues, most of them are older folks, but the, the, the bottom line is a lot of loved ones are passing away and dying right now from this COVID-19 thing. And it's really easy to sort of fall into this very negative abyss. I find myself doing it. I find myself being snapping at, you know, customers and uh, being short with our bidders sometimes and, and other people, even family members. And I just, I, you know, it's really just, you know, worrying about... How's the business going to do? How's my family going to do? How do I keep everybody safe? How do I keep my safe? There's so much to worry about right now. And I think you have to kind of step back from the brink periodically and turn off the news. You know, look, you got to watch the news because you got to know what's going on. I've never watched the news or listened to it in the car as much as I have in my whole life. Uh, but it's important because you need to know what's going on, where the disease is spreading, uh, what financial things may be happening, uh, what stores might be, how you're going to get through the, there's a lot of thing, reasons to listen to the news. But at some point, you've sort of got to turn off, turn some music on, look away, take a deep breath, meditate a little bit, whatever works for you, whether it's doing some yoga or something posted a beautiful uh, video of the San Juan Mountains. I've been watching that, set to some beautiful music, to some pictures. Whatever it is, you got to find some way of de-stressing, calming down, and really thinking about the positives. What, what, what might be the positives? I mean, for me, I'm hiking and thinking, wow, um, this is normally our busy time of the year. And so normally... We're so hammered that uh, there is no way in the beautiful spring cool weather. And hey, guys, the wind hasn't been as bad as normal. It's been a good wind spring so far. All right, that's positive. And we're out here doing this beautiful hike, which I probably wouldn't have time for in a normal busy moving season with our state cell business. So there is a positive. We're out there enjoying some time. And I start thinking about, like, you know what? My employees are working. We're in... We're one of the essential businesses. Um, we're the last estate sale company in town. We're the only used goods company in town uh, that's open. So, uh, sorry, phone dinging. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, we're in a position where, yeah, there's less money out there, less people buying, maybe, but we're the only place open. So, yeah, resellers are not buying anything. I get that. But we're still doing well. Our employees are being fed. Are we making as much money as we normally would? No. But we're doing right. But I can go deeper than that. We've got a lot of new people signing up in our community that we didn't have before because they're like, where else am I going? There's no garage sales. There's no estate sales. There's no thrift stores. I need a couch. I need some dishes. I need whatever it is. And they're coming to us. And those folks are going to come to our community and stay with us and help us grow our business down the road when we do get back to operating as normal. So, you know, 
I started thinking through it, you know, and the social distancing we're starting to see is probably having an effect that is saving some lives. Again, positive. Lots of positive things going on. Lots of hard workers on the front line out there uh, in the medical field, be accomplishing things, the government uh, stepping in to help them get the resources they need when, honestly, we weren't prepared. Who prepares for a pandemic? I mean, how do you? I mean, you know, everybody talks about, hey, man, everybody talks about these uh, machines, these breathing machines. It's like, okay, but if you bought 10 million of those, 10 years ago, they'd all be broken now. I mean, you can only store things for so long. But, you know, private industry, the government's coming together to, you know, address these issues. And, you know, there is a lot of positive out there among all the negative. And we don't know where this thing's going. We don't know where we'll be in two weeks or four weeks. Will I get to go on my family river rafting trip in July? Will it be canceled? Or will we run into a situation where um, business opens back up and we won't be able to go on that trip um, because, you know, because we'll be so slammed from all the pent up demand? I, I don't know, you know, but we got to take what positives we can, you know, or, you know, if your family's safe, if your mother's in, moved into assisted living and they're taking their precautions and taking care of her, if you're an essential service or essential business, which I, frankly, that covers a lot of business, a lot of essential business out there working. I mean, it's sad that 140,000 restaurants are probably going to go bankrupt during this. But again, set that aside, gravitate toward what's good. Or you know, I was even thinking yesterday how this time of the year, part of the spirit of New Mexico is these pilgrimages, you know, to Chimayo or Tome Hill or whatever. And I was thinking to myself how much I appreciate that. I don't do it myself, but I remember in the days when I used to go out to Utah this time of the year because the weather's beautiful, go camping, four wheeling, all that. Not Easter Jeep Safari, which of course canceled, but just go out there somewhere else, way away from Easter Jeep Safari. And I used to treasure those days. Now, we don't get to do that as much anymore because, again, the business we're in uh, keeps us really busy in that time frame. But I miss seeing all that. Um, but at the same time, you know, there is some extra free time to spend with your family. In this case, doing a big hike. And you know what? Yes, some of the hiking trails are very crowded and you should stay away from them because they're not social distancing properly, including right up here near where I live. But we climbed a mountain and didn't see one person. So there are things you can do. Um, and, you know, and just... Guys, just take a little time. Cherish the good. Cherish the memories. Cherish the future. Um, you know, celebrate what's good. Turn that news off. Things will get better in time, guys. It, 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 it's, it's um, you know, truly this is historic. Nobody, very few people. I think I saw that somebody that was two years old when the 1918 pandemic hit. And I think they just recently died. I, I can't remember. I saw something about that. But truly, we're really, nobody's lived through something like this in our time. And um, we have a lot of advantages, too, over 1918. We know what it is. We, we can develop treatments. Uh, we have high-tech equipment to treat it. We can save a lot of lives. We can communicate. We can track the virus better. So we got a lot of advantages over the 1918. So... Again, let's celebrate all the good things we have. Let, let's let's just, just take advantage of this time to make the best of it as we can as a community. Uh, we'll keep bringing you good sales. We appreciate everyone's help in maintaining social distancing, maintaining no more than five people in a home. I, I, I would have never dreamed, guys, we would have been able to pull it off the way we have. It has these pickups have been smooth, smooth, smooth. They've been safe. We've been bringing you guys stuff. Um, we've been helping each other out and, and it's been great. If you're someone in our community that needs some help with courting a special pickup time for things so that you're not exposed to others, or maybe we even need to get figure out another way to get the items to you if they're small, not furniture, of course, or something like that, uh, let us know. 
uh, if you're somebody that needs help even getting groceries uh, or something like that uh, for whatever reason within our community please get a hold of us um, you know we're all in this together let's figure out how to support each other celebrate the good be prepared be aware follow guidelines but the, let's not let this thing uh, take away who we are and let's not let this thing get us so far down in the dumps um, the future will be bright again and it's not that far away all right guys that's it for today i this was sort of some aimless rambling i I've, you've heard people like my videos i don't know why but anyways i hope you enjoyed it guys uh like i said i'll be doing another video shortly here on franchising and you know people that may be interested in some other business model down the road outside of our local community but uh that's it for today Everyone stay safe. Have a great time. Enjoy our auctions. Enjoy the severing and, and picking up some great things. Oh, I, I know what I was going to say. As I was hiking yesterday, I'm hiking in brand new pants that had the tags on that were $6. $40 on Amazon. I paid $6 for an auction. Guys, celebrate the small things. Cherish your family. Stay safe. And we'll see you at the next auction.